Uh, my recording kind of got messed up, but uh, yeah, it kind of sucks to be me. I was in like halfway of recording and uh, I don't know, my file got corrupted, so I can't really post that online. But unfortunately, uh, I just have to continue where I am, so I really can't do anything about it. I'm so sorry, guys. But basically, just to sum everything up, um, we repaired the Ballista and we couldn't find the Cuckoo Coat, so now we need to return to Kiki. It literally says at the top like, we need to find Kiki back at the Boo Boo Pharmacy because um, we couldn't find the Cuckoo Coat. But right now, I'm not even heading there. I'm actually trying to get this waypoint, which is. My screen just faded to black for no reason. Um, okay. So I'm gonna quickly grab this point and then I'm gonna quickly head over to uh, back to Liyue, which is kind of uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Also, I got some good recordings as well when I was recording my video. Ah, uh, oh well, it's, it's it is what it is, unfortunately. <sighs> oh what? No! I don't know who. Ch oh, oh. Well then. Yeah. Forgive us. We were unable to fulfill our end of the contract. We found no trace of the Coco Goat Adepti Beast of which you speak. <sighs> what a disappointment. Don't worry about it. But I feel very disappointed. Oh, she did this. She did the shrug again. Oh, poor Chi Chi. Kiki. Why does Paimon feel so guilty all of a sudden? Coco Goat milk is tasty. So. Tasty. Much better than normal goat milk. Only an Adeptabeast could make such tasty milk. Whoa. I'm sorry. I have a poor memory. I cannot remember the name of the milk. That's why I wrote it down. Where did I put it? Why didn't she tell us that from the start? Ah, here. This is the name. Coconut milk. Are you serious? Huh? <sighs> I owe you both an apology. I hastily agreed to what appeared to be an equitable agreement with this zombie child, when perhaps I should have undertaken further due diligence. Never mind, Zhang Li. You didn't know. As the Liyue proverb goes, all things are random and... Um... So how are you supposed to predict anything? Literally no one could have seen this coming. Excuse me, everyone. Did Chi-Chi say a bad thing? Oh, Sorry, but Paimon's gonna leave the job of shattering this poor kiddo's world to you. Um, yes. Oh, Im impossible. Seems Chi-Chi took this pretty hard. <laughs> Someone learnt a valuable life lesson today, then. Thank you all for looking after my little Chi-Chi. Who's this guy? Might I ask who? Ah, how rude of me. I'm Baiju, boss of the Boo Boo Pharmacy. Yes, he, he has the same eyes as Mr. Zhongli. Hi, man, that Chi-Chi was the boss. Turns out it's some wacko who wears medicinal ingredients around his neck. Nah, that's a snake. What a sorry state of affairs. This little mascot is even more of a simpleton than Chi Chi. Ah, the medicine, the snake is speaking. Hmm. I prefer to stay silent, but faced with strangers, I must speak, lest you mistake me for an escapee from the medicine cabinet, for I am a living, breathing serpent. <laughs> Don't mind Chung Sheng. She's a good girl, really. As for you three, Communal chaos causing with Chi Chi aside, what business brings you here? Do you sell everlasting incense in this fine establishment? Everlasting incense? Why, of course we do. Well, that was easy. Whew, at last. Things are finally starting to come together. Three million more. Top quality. Guaranteed. Just rob the golden house. Oh, but the chasing have taken it over for now. Security will be tighter than usual. Hmm. Three million. An innocuous number in and of itself. Though practically speaking, it could be a hard sum to come by. It's a crazy number. We'd never be able to make that much more of. And as for Mr. Zhang Li, he's around three million. 
in short. <laughs> this is correct. No shame. What are we gonna do? Is this the part where we go crawling back to child? And then child just appears. Twenty minutes later. <laughs> what? Go go go. Go go go. <laughs> my sides hurt. Oh my goodness. I cannot believe you fell for that. Hey, less laughter, more sympathy. I'm almost in tears over here. Ah, uh, thank you. That was the best laugh I've had in a long time. In return, I'm more than happy to sort out this mess you've managed to get yourself into. Wait, so, into. so Charles just gonna give us three million more? Of Excuse me, sir. Doctor Baiju, isn't it? Truly honored. I'm Child, one of the Fatui Harbingers. Forgive my audacity, but I see a great many opportunities for us to collaborate in the future. If Boo Boo Pharmacy needed a stable supply of, say, coconut milk. The Fatui could help by setting up a robust and speedy distribution network. Strange. I knew the Fatui infiltrated businesses with seductive deals, but so much fuss over coconut milk? Coconut milk. Baiju, quick. Chi Chi wants coconut milk. Oh. Ah, yes, of course, Chi Chi. Anything you want. Thank you, child. I look forward to a successful collaboration in the future. I can give you a discount on that everlasting incense too. Let's say two million nine hundred and ninety thousand mora. Yeah, nice discount. That's like zero difference from three million. Actually, that's oh shit! I don't even know what is that. I don't even know how much percentage that is. Oh shit! I th oh my god. Hmm. Two million nine hundred and ninety thousand. Also an innocuous number in and of itself. You're just repeating the so same thing. Speaking, it is a whole ten thousand less than the original sum of three million. Yeah, I should have just said that. I looked like an idiot. Well, now that this is settled, we must head back to Yujing Terrace. Mr. Child, Doctor Baiju, Little Miss Chi Chi, see you soon. Yeah, Jesus Christ, just end. Let me go now. Who's that? Is that Child? Ah, that lot is an absolute riot. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I laughed so hard. So, you've been eavesdropping, I hope. What have I missed? Oh. Yes, Master Child. They spoke of the Qixing taking the Golden House. Well, well, well. Ningguang and her Qixing cronies. What else would they be hiding in the Golden House? If not the I Xuvia. knew it. I knew it. I apologize, but I warned you, didn't I? As the old Leo is saying goes, the walls have ears. I knew it. There's something up with this guy. I knew it. I freaking knew it. Child's child's just using us. You scumbag. Dirtbag. Retard. Jackass. How dare thee. Wait, then that, that gives me another theory then. Maybe Child was the person who killed Rex Lapis. Hmm. It's just a theory, but I I actually think Child killed Rex Lapis or any like Futui member. Well, let's just say that the Futui had some sort of connection to Rex Lapis's death. Well, as it stands, we've hired helpers and we've acquired the everlasting incense. The completion of our preparations is not far off. There's still more. Ooh, finally. Well, traveler, have you gained anything from our adventure so far? Odd. Yeah, we are. <sighs> <laughs> Which is it, I wonder? The questions that such travels raise are ever so complicated. Well, I'll leave you to ruminate over it yourself. As to remuneration for your help, I've decided... To give us more of. To treat you to a meal. Wow. Sugoi. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, yes, don't worry. I will remember to bring the Mora this time. Tonight, I shall take you both to an old hole in the wall, praised throughout Lyra. Hole in the wall? Hole in the wall? As in a cool restaurant? <laughs> Indeed. Let us meet near the harbor, at third round knockout. Ooh. Damn. This story is so long. Jesus Christ. Went up to the appointed time, 6 to 23, yeah. I remember the last time I had to do... I remember the last time I had to do some time thing, um, I felt horribly, like it wouldn't let me like go into the tavern in you know, with uh, Delic and uh, Venti, but um, 
I changed the time, so it's set to 6 o'clock to 11. Alright, Paimon, don't fail me this time, please. So it's 6 o'clock, which is between these two, I swear to God. There. Alright, so we are at 8 o'clock to be safe. Right? One, yeah, two, go to third round knockout, three, which is all the way down there. Four, Can you stop counting? Two, Wait, so we're meant to meet him here, right? Where's Zhongli? Sit next to him? Where is he? Oh, he's right here. What the hell? These sprites need to, these sprites need to like, oh, I'll see. They keep loading really late. Can you sit down, please? Thank you. Ah, you're here. There's no need to order. I've already done so. Third round knockout is not for lightweights, like those taverns in Mondstadt. Here, the owner does not take such unorthodox orders as fruit juice. Does that mean I can order wine? I ordered some wine fermented sweet rice balls for you, if that counts. Yeah. If boy. it is to your liking, dear customers, I shall continue the tale of Lady Mingguan's Jade Chamber. That's not a good idea. I bet you, child, or oh, any of the food to be listening hey, right now. There's even a storyteller here. Great atmosphere. Besides fine wine. The excellent ambiance is the reason why this place is so well loved. But when I say ambiance, I refer to a different sort from the one the Tevat Travel Guide uses to judge other establishments. As you all know, high above the land of Liyue lies a pavilion in the clouds, a palace in the mist. What does it mean to have all-seeing eyes? This, my friends, Lady Ningguan's masterwork that bridges earth and sky. Imagine, the weather is clear, and you gaze down from the deck on the world below. Behold, the glorious sights of Who's Liyue that? Harbor, stretching out far Wait a minute, is that, is that Sucrus? No, that doesn't look like Sucrus, wait, is it? I don't know how, uh, I don't know who that, who is that person? Oh, cutscene. They say that when Lady Ningguan ponders important affairs, she retreats to her jade chamber with none but her three closest confidants in tow. Why brings she these trusted three to sift through sources, dig through documents, looking for information? Piece by piece, facts and figures paint a picture on the walls of the chamber. But well before the wall is filled, Lady Ningguang's mind is made up. Having made her call, she has every last document shredded, and whoosh, she scatters the shavings out her window. Ah, look at them, how they billow in the wind like a sudden swirling blizzard. As the fragments fall, Traces of text flicker before the eyes of the merchants of Liyue, like ink stains in white snow. The saying goes, the rarest treasures in the land are the words brought by the paper snow. For the words of the Tianquan have the power to move mountains and all the Okay, never mind. Land that is my new thumbnail. Out. Okay, I didn't even listen to anything that they said. These are but scraps of paper, and yet they guide Lady Ningguang's hand. Such is their value. Merely grasping one or two of them will surely gift you a fragment of her wisdom. Enough to stay a step or two ahead of your peers. Tianquan Ningguang. Feels like we're hearing this name a lot. Liyue locals talk about her, the Fatui hate her, she's most likely the one who hid the Exuvia, and we saw her at the Rite of Dissension. Huh, Paimon wonders what sort of person she is. At last I have found you, you who returned from Juayun Karst. Who's there? Who's that? Wait, I am not with the Millilith, nor am I here to claim your bounty. However, I am an emissary of the Liyue Chising. My name is Ganyu, secretary at the Yuahai Pavilion, and I have come specifically to meet you. Eh? Well, in concrete terms, I am the corporate secretary for the Qixing. 
At the moment, I am serving as Lady Ningguang's special emissary. Ningguang sent you? We were literally just talking about her. My apologies, you who have returned from Jiayun Karst. I am duty-bound and cannot extend my courtesy to you in full. Whoa. Oh, whoa. Whoa. But I have with me a letter from Lady Ningguang. <laughs> She extends a formal invitation to you in her capacity as Tianquan. She invites you to her palace in the sky. An official invitation? Lady Ningguang said this. Invite him to come here. I wish to meet him. At the Jade Chamber, together we shall snip every one of these entwining dark threads. Whoa. So I gotta meet Ningguang? Oh, finally. Called herself Ganyu just disappeared. But we've received an invitation from the Liu at Chising. Paimon still can't believe it. We'll be meeting people that have way more money than Paimon could ever count. We should be on our best manners. <laughs> an invitation to visit the Jade Chamber is a rare honor indeed. You'd best be on your way now. But don't forget about the right of party. Once you've finished at the Jade Chamber, Meet me at Dihua Marsh. Don't worry, we won't forget. Dihua Marsh. We'll see you there. Peace out, Zhongli. Oh, but I, I want to eat some of this, you know. Oh, man. Anyways, I think that's all our quests done, right? Yeah, that's all our quests done. So we're basically done with the story quest slash Arkham quests by, um with the uh yeah story with the event ranks so we can't do anything else until the next update so uh we do have a world quest but unfortunately i don't think that's that important now also i got my commissions i haven't done anything left but i guess that's actually like i think we're done so um the 1.1 update is actually coming out it's coming out if i'm correct next month and there's also a new character coming out on the 20th of October at 6 p.m. BST, British Standard Time. Um, it's Klee. Uh, I don't know if they'll update the story at that time, but I do know that the 1.01 update is coming next month, I believe. I hope. So, um, yeah, I guess that's literally really it. So we are done with the game. We're not, we're not really, we're not, I mean, we're not done with the game itself. We're actually done with the story for now until the new 1.1 update but just hey what should i try this time i don't care but just basically sum up the whole story so child he's he's a bad guy okay I, okay i've already made up my mind he child is a bad guy okay um i think i can trust mr zhongli i think i can trust him because he doesn't seem like a bad guy personally i really wanted to play as him but unfortunately um you know i couldn't we also did lose a bit of footage. We lost about 10 minutes worth of footage, which is, you know, on my part, my bad, guys. Unfortunately, I couldn't save. It got corrupted while I was trying to um, upload this video. So, um, kind of sucks to be uh, me, I guess. But um, anyways, what did we actually get as a reward? We got a uh, artifact, I do believe. Sorry, a, a constellation upgrade for the MC, if I'm correct. Or what, wait, what did we get? We got like, wait, what did we get? Wait, I'm confused. I'm pretty sure we got... Uh, let me check my back. We got like a, a little thing included with Primos. Um, I do believe it was... No, it's not here. Definitely not there. Um, not these. Also, guy, I don't know what to do with these. I do know we can make weapons with these, but... Um, you need like a lot of materials, so uh, I'll try and do that. And I have this. I don't know what this do. I don't know what this does actually. Mm. This one do with wings, blah blah blah. That's kind of irrelevant. Okay, so where was the thing that we got? I don't know what we got. Where was it? It was like a. You guys saw it as well. It's like a little like crown shaped thing. Um, it's not on my inventory, unfortunately. I can't find it. But yeah, uh, I, that's this. I guess that's literally everything with the game until the one point one update. Um, I am gonna, I'm still going to be playing this game daily. Um, unfortunately, I am going to have to move away from this game for content-wise due to the fact that um, 
since there's nothing important I can really do in the game, I can't really make content for you guys. I'll entertain you, which is, you know, on my fault, my bad. But on top of that, it's the game that needs to update. So once the game update drops, I will be posting daily once again. Uh, or two days at One, max. Kiki, two. shut up. <laughs> shut up. So, um, yeah, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to end the video right here. Um, I am open to suggestions for new games to uh, make content on. I am planning on making content on Minecraft. <laughs> yeah, Minecraft, because uh, I do. I actually haven't beaten the Ender Dragon on the PS4. Um, I actually have. I have beaten the Minecraft. I have, sorry, I have beaten the Ender Dragon on the Microsoft 360, but not on the PS4. So I am willing to make micro videos if you guys are okay with that. Uh, I will start making micro videos coming either tomorrow or the day after tomorrow if you guys are okay with that. Anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. If you guys enjoyed this video of Genshin Impact, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more. Oh Be Speaking quiet. My name Be and hum quiet. Please. Be quiet. Oh, Jojo pose. O's. No Alright, so like I was saying, um, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more future Genshin Impact content. Anyways, guys, this is Celix. And I'm signing up.